Okay, welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about how to create a Google Classroom. In this video, we're going to be spend more time on how you can create assignments and how you can view student work as you do that. And what are the different ways that you can interact with your students using uh, Google Classroom. So one of the things that um, you will notice is when you click the tab of a classwork, you can create. So we're going to press create and we're going to create any of those things. So we can create an assignment, we can create a quiz assignment, you can create a question, you can create material, which is simply for viewing, or you can reuse a post that you've done before. Right now, I just want to show you how you can create different subjects within a homeroom class. So what you want to do is create topic. So one of the topics I have is math, let's say. So I have a math topic. Then I create another topic and I'll make language and I'll create a topic and then I'll create coding, for example. And then you want to make another topic, introduction videos. Let's say you want to post an introduction video at the beginning of every day, whatever it is. You can also change the order of things. You can drag them on my screen. I can drag them and drop them because I'm using an iPad. If you have a touch screen, a Chromebook or any of the tablets, you can probably do that, drag it and, um, and change the order. Uh, but also you can do that with a mouse if you are on a laptop or a desktop. Okay, so once I created those topics, I can now start creating work for my students. So let's say I want, I want to create an assignment. So let's say it's going to be a, um, fractions a review and, and questions. Okay, so in this assignment, you will read the attached pages, watch the attached video, and then you will answer the questions using a Google Doc. Okay? Um, this will be due next Monday. If you have any questions, please send me a message. Okay? So then this is the instructions that I give the students with the, with the work. And then I have um, some settings here that I need to do. So on the right, on your desktop, this could be below the post. You have the topic. So now I open that up and I see the list of topics that I had created. So I actually can create a new topic from this tab here, or I can access the old topics that I created. So for this one, this is math work. So I'm going to click on math. I can add a rubric, create a rubric, reuse a rubric, import from sheets. So you can make your own rubric or you can reuse a rubric that was used from before and um, or you can import one from sheets that you you have uh, originality reports these are checking that um, the work is not uh, plagiarized from any online sites and here the due date so this is an important one you you set up when the work is due so let's say it's due on monday march 30 and you can set up a time or not if you want it to be at 11.59 p.m. at the very end of the day is the last time people could hand in. And then after that, it allows them to hand in still, but they have a late um, tag beside their work. So let's say you don't get to marking it right away or you don't have to keep track of who handed in on time and who handed in late. You can always check and it or automatically tracks who handed in late beyond this date okay then it tells you how many points to um, assign this so you can er erase this make it out of 10 make it out of 20 or it could be an ungraded work work that doesn't have marks on it it's com for completion let's say you want to make sure that they didn't um, and you're assigning to all students or are you assigning it to some students so here you're going to have um, a list of the students because our class is empty you don't see that but you will have the opportunity to pick 
students in there. And this is a great tool for differentiation because let's say you want to, you have modified students in the class and you want to give them work that's not similar to the rest of the class. This is where you get to choose that. Okay. And then here is um, the fun part where you actually attach files or links to your post. So I already told them you have to look at pages and you have to watch a video. So let's see the pages. So the let's say file, I access my files. Let's say they are in my drive, whatever it is. Let's say um, recent, um, just look at some pages. Let's say I'm gonna attach this one here, add. So they'll be able to watch this PDF. Then I want them to see a link. Let's say I want to, um, hold on, let me get them a link to, um, it's one of the great resources by University of Waterloo, and they have tons of lessons for the intermediates, and I'm always using it with my class, so um, when we are working on um, a unit, I'm introducing it, I add the lesson here so they can watch the videos and do the introduction questions and uh, watch the examples before they can access my work. So let's say I copy that and then I go here, I go to add link and I paste the link that I just copied. And as you can see here, it's listed. So now they have access to the PDF file. They have access to that video. What else did I ask them to do here? Watch the attached video. Oh, and then you will answer the question. So then my work is done and I make sure to check again. My date is done. My topic is done. And then I press create. Oh, I can also create something um, that could be attached. Let's say I want to create uh, I don't know, a drawing that uh, so the students can see the file. So let's say I want to create a, a drawing that the students can access. So let's say I can, um, okay, dismiss, thank you. And tools, and text box, and let's just say I say good luck. Oops. whatever, and then we share and save and done, enter your, no, done, okay? And then you close and it's already there. Whatever you can do, they, and the students can view or can edit. So I could have a doc that is, uh, a doc that, or attach something that the students can contribute to. So I could create a Google Sheet or a Google Doc or a Google, uh, drawing and the students will be able to access it. Let's say we're collaboratively working on a, on an assignment or I created a sheet where they all have to fill it in. Uh, different groups are responsible for different parts of the same uh, slideshow and they all need to work on it together. Uh, so you have the option of you can, students can only view the file, students can edit the file or you have the option make a copy for each student. So that means every one of them gets a copy. So once they open it, they can edit it, but it's only their copy. So everyone has a separate copy so that when um, they edit their work, it's not impacting someone else's work. So this is great. For example, let's say fill in the blanks and you want each one of them to do it independently. That would be a great one. The other one where they can edit file is because one file Everybody access it, everybody can change it. We're all together on this. And the first one is they can only view it. It's like a, a handout. So they can't edit it. It's a message from you to them. Uh, you use it as a reference or whatever it is, but they cannot change it or edit. Okay, so once I'm done, I'm gonna press assign, which is on the right here for me. It could be at the bottom for you on your desktop. And your work is assigned under the math tab right here. So on the stream, the work shows as in order it was as it is being posted in order. So first thing is the first post I created uh, this morning on the first video. Good morning class. This would be our mode, blah, blah, blah. And the video attached. Then I posted this and it tells you the time that the posting was done. So you can actually see. 
On the stream, also the students can interact. The students can talk and you can actually give them privileges. So if somebody, you know, is, for example, being inappropriate, you can mute them and you can easily unmute them next to their name. You'll find that option. Um, and um, yeah, so really I can show you how to do that later, but really you play around and uh, there are so many great things that you can do. If you go to grades, um, if you go to classwork first and we go to our assignment, the one that we just created, uh, allows you to see it. Oops, just the map up here. Right, so it opens up the assignment. It tells you that zero people turned it in, zero people assigned because our classroom is empty, but it does show you everything in there. Once the students have turned in some of the work, um, it, you will know who turned it in and who not with names and emails and whatnot. Um, and you will be able also to edit this. Let's say you did something and you want to go back and edit. So go here, say edit. You go back to the screen and you can change anything. Let's say I forgot to put the topic or I want to change this from math to language or whatever it is that you forgot to do. I want to add another resource. You can update it, save it, and it will show right away on the screen. The due date is also shown on this. So students will have all the information they need um, and they can actually send you messages and communicate about it. Um, also, I wanted to tell you in the main screen, also you can also see the code here. And if you click on that little box next to it, it makes it bigger and it pops up. And this is for projection option. Uh, if you're projecting the screen on a projector or on a whiteboard or a smart board, then it, it will be uh, easier to view by the students. Uh, but it could be easier for you as well. And you can click and copy and then paste it in your email for the parents to access it, okay? You can change the theme here. Uh, you can um, upload a photo if you want of your class in the background. Um, you can do so many things with that. So the only thing is you will never be able to make this your own until you really play around with it and, and add students and try uh, to add assignments and materials and whatnot. And if you still have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And um, I can set up a Google Meet if uh, um, a lot of people have questions. I can set up a Google Meet so that we can all meet and, uh, and troubleshoot together and uh, do this together. Thank you and good luck. And um, have a beautiful weekend and happy uh, working with the kids. Enjoy the day.